Hello all, uh, welcome to my channel Weight Lecture. Today we will discuss multiple choice questions on veterinary medicine. Question number first, the chewing gum type of seizure is classical nervous sign shown in dog affected with options A, infectious canine hepatitis, options B, canine parvoviral gastroenteritis, option C, rabies, options D, canine distemper. The right answer is options D, that is canine distemper. The chewing gum type of seizure is classical nervous sign shown in dog affected with CD. Let's see some typical clinical sign which is associated with the TB. Then we found diaphasic fever. Diaphasic fever is characterized that there is sudden rise in the temperature and then uh, low in the temperature and then again rise in temperature. And chewing gum type of seizures. And there is a hyper uh, keratitis which lead to that hard bed uh, conditions uh, in animal. And let's see some typical clinical sign which is associated with infectious canine hepatitis. Then we found there's a transient scronial opacity which lead to blue colored uh, appearance of eye and that is known as hepatitis blue eye uh, in ICH, okay. And a typical clinical sign that is associated with the parvovirus infections. Since parvovirus has two form, that is parvovirus gastroenteritis form and parvovirus myocarditis form. Parvovirus gastroenteritis form is characterized by there is a hemorrhagic enteritis and then vomitions and diarrhea in uh, puppies and parvovirus myocarditis forms is mainly seen in pups under uh, 10 week of age and uh, is mainly characterized by there is a cardiogenic shock. Uh, we found it's chronic myocarditis and circulatory complications. And if we see that uh, typical clinical sign which is associated with the rabies, then in dog we found uh, two form of rabies that is furious form and dumb form. Furious form is characterized by there is a biting animate and inanimate object uh, changing in barking pattern while dumb form is characterized by there is a paralytic form and there is a paralysis of jawbone we see. And in, in cattle, uh, we found there's a paralysis of uh, muscles of deglutinations and uh, with excessive salivations and choke, si choke simulating symptoms. And also there's a low pitch uh, voice uh, in cattle due to that vocal cord paralysis. And we also see that increased uh, sexual excitement in both uh, uh, that cow and bull suffered from rabies. Okay. Uh, questions number uh, two. Abortion is one of the predominant clinical sign in following equine disease. Options A, equine infectious anemia. Options B, equine influenza. Option C, equine viral rhino pneumonitis. Or options D, African horse sickness. The right answer is option C, that is equine viral uh, rhino pneumonitis. One of the major uh, predominant clinical sign in equine viral uh, rhino pneumonitis is abortions. And equine viral rhino pneumonitis or equine viral abortions is a viral uh, equine uh, viral disease of equine. It's mainly characterized by there's a respiratory distress and there's abortions caused by equine herpes virus uh, first, that's a DNA virus. And characterized by respiratory form where we see there's pneumonia, high fever and dry painful cough and conjunctivitis. And, and, and we found that abortions between that seven month of gestation to the full month. And if we see that septicemic form, uh, then there's a fetus remain normal in, at birth, but uh, become stunted and die with a sign of respiratory problems and mental uh, depressions. And if we see this nervous form, it is uh, characterized by incoordinations, paresis, uh, recumbency and death due to encephalomyopathy. Okay, questions number, uh, questions number uh, three. The following disease cause immune suppression in affected chicken. Options A, avian encephalomyelitis. Options B, IBD. Option C, ILT. Options D, avian influenza. The right answer is options B, that is IBD. Infectious bursal disease or gumbaro disease or infectious nephrosis. It's a contagious viral disease of chicken. Uh, mainly age uh, 2 to 9 week of age of chicken is highly susceptible. Uh, characterized by there's an initial enlargement of a bursa uh, followed by atrophy of a bursa. And we also see there's a congestion and hemorrhage of a pectoral muscles, thigh muscles and, uh, and the leg muscles. And there's also patchy hemorrhage at the junction of uh, a proventiculus and gizzard we found during postmortem. It's mainly caused by Birna virus, which is a double standard RNA virus. Second is avian encephalomyelitis, which is also known as epidemic tremor, is infectious viral disease of young chick, uh, age range between one to two weeks of age, uh, mainly characterized by there is a nervous sign. Uh, we see that's incoordination, attachia, tremor of head, neck, and even whole body. And also we see paresis, and it's mainly uh, caused by picoRNA virus. 
and the only gross lesions uh, observed in a dead uh, chicken is that whitish area in the uh, muscles of gizzard and proventriculus uh, which is caused due to massive infiltration of lymphocytes and infectious laryngotracheitis is an acute or a subacute infectious disease of adult poultry characterized by there is a respiratory distress uh, we found that's a real gurgling or rattling sound uh, breathing with open uh, beak and fits of coughing uh, causing expulsion of uh, that's blood uh, blood stains mucus and there is also hemorrhagic uh, trachitis which is mainly caused by dna virus of family herpes viridi and last is this avian influenza which is also known as bird flu is a mild or even asymptomatic to that acute and fatal infectious disease of a bird mainly caused by influenza a virus of orthomyxo viridi uh, characterized by there's a common respiratory signs like ruffled fever sneezing coughing lacrimation sinusitis uh, with a low pathogenic avian influenza and while uh, high pathogenic avian influenza uh, we found that onset is rapid with 100% mortality <coughs> questions number 4 uh, ppr disease is more severe and cause high mortality in options a cattle options b buffalo option c goat option d sheep the right answer is option c that is a sheep uh, right answer is option c that's goat a ppr uh, which stands for pestidis pestid ruminant or it is also known as pseudo rinder pest and goat plague is more severe and cause high mortality in goat if we see that ppr it is a sub acute or okay, acute highly contagious uh, disease of sheep and goat uh, mainly caused by morbili virus of paramyxo viridi which is a single stranded rna virus and it is characterized by there's a fever and loss of appetite stomatitis with inflammations of oral cavities gastroenteritis and there's a pneumonia questions number 5 uh, biological vector of a blue tongue virus is options a mosquito options b tick option c flea options d coliquids the right answer is options d that is a coliquids okay the biological vectors of a blue tongue virus is coliquids let's see some uh, vectors and the disease uh, associated with this vectors since a uh, aedes mosquito uh, uh, is a vectors of dengue uh, fever yellow fever rift valley fever lymphatic uh, filariasis anopheles uh, mosquito is a vectors of malaria and that culex is a vectors of uh, japanese encephalitis a uh, tick of genus derma centers and rhipicephalus is a vectors uh, for disease uh, babesiosis a uh, tick of genus uh, higher Hyaloma is a vector for disease of thalidiosis. Uh, flies like Tabanus, uh, Hematopota, Stomoxis are the vectors of uh, disease of Trypanosomiasis. Sandfly that is Clebotomus is a vector of disease of Lismaniasis. And Backfly with Simulus fly uh, is a vector of uh, disease of Oncocerciasis. This is a river blindness. Okay. Uh, question number uh, six. Epitheliotropic virus is options A, rabies. Options B, FMD. Option C, Pox. Option D, Smedi. The right answer is option uh, B, that is uh, F FMD. FMD, which is a stand for foot and mouth disease, or also known as aphthous fevers, is an acute uh, febrile, highly contagious uh, disease of a cloven-footed animal, mainly characterized by there's a formation of a vesicles uh, and in the epithelium of a buccal cavity, tongue, uh, nares, muscles, and also in the feet, and we also see that uh, vesicles on a teeth and udders and uh, and we found that myocarditis in young one it's mainly caused by aptovirus of a family pico rna viridi and there is a different strains of fmd virus like oac asf first set one set two set three and if we see that lesions of fmd virus we found there's a vesicles and ulcerations in and foot and mouth uh, uh, mouth and if we if you see microscopically then there is a intercellular edema and there's a necrosis of stratum spinosum layer of epithelial cells and there is also degenerative changes like a gray or yellow color of foci or streaks uh, is found in that uh, myocardium which gave uh, it's like a tiger heart appearance okay and there's a note that smedi virus which is also known as enterovirus and smedi stands for stillbirth and mummifications uh, embryonic death and infertility is a gut bone uh, this gut bone virus of uh, pig also commonly known as parvo virus infections in pig okay uh, questions number 7 terry colored blood is seen in options a canine parvo virus infections options b anthrax option c clostridial infections options d rinder paste the right answer is options uh, b that is a uh, anthrax uh, terry colored blood uh, coming out uh, from that natural orifice is seen in anthrax anthrax which is also known as splenic fever or wool sorter uh, disease in case of human 
is an acute uh, per acute uh, septicemic zoonotic infectious disease of livestock uh, mainly characterized by there is a splenomegaly there is a spleen get enlarged and there is a sudden death it's mainly caused by uh, bacillus anthracis which is a rod shaped non motile capsulated aerobic spores forming gram positive organisms and this bacillus anthracis uh, so its effect by producing three types of toxin first is edema toxin second is protective toxins and third is lethal toxin uh, questions number 8 suitable age for primary vaccinations against rabies is options a 3 week options b 3 month options c 4 month options d 5 month the right answer is options b that is a 3 month okay suitable age for a primary vaccination against rabies in puppy is when puppies is 3 month of old let's see some uh, puppies vaccination schedules then if you see that rabies uh, the primary dose of rabies should be given uh, when the puppy is 3 month of old then after the 1 month we should give a uh, booster dose and then we should re repeat that annually the rabies vaccination Uh, dhpp vaccine which is a stand for distemper hepatitis uh, para influenza and parvo uh, the primary dose uh, should be given when the puppy is 6 uh, week of old second dose given after 2 week that is when puppy is 8 week of old third dose is given after 4 week that when puppy is 12 weeks of old and fourth dose is given after 4 week that is when puppy is 16 week of old and booster uh, dose should repeats annually okay Uh, bordetella uh, the primary dose is given when the puppy is 8 week of old second dose given after 4 uh, month 4 uh, week later that's when the puppy is 12 weeks of old okay in case of leptospira lyme and influenza primary dose is given when the puppy is 8 week of old second dose after a uh, 4 week uh, that is when the puppy is 12 weeks of old and we should repeat uh, boosters annually okay questions number 9 pruritus is symptoms of falling disease options a scrappy options b pseudo rabies option c mange options d all the right answer is options d that is a uh, all okay pruritus uh, means that uh, the creation of that stimulus which uh, allow that animal to rub their body is a symptoms or uh, is seen in all condition that's a scrappy pseudo rabies and mange infections scrappy is a highly fatal uh, non febrile chronic uh, neurologic disease of uh, mainly seen in uh, sheep and goat characterized by there is acute pruritus uh, incoordinations in guts muscle streamers and seber emaciations it's mainly caused by prion okay pseudo rabies uh, rabies which is known as ajeski disease infectious bulbar uh, paralysis or maid itch is an acute uh, viral infectious disease primarily affect uh, that uh, pig also prevalent in cattle sheep goat horse dog and cat caused by herpes virus which is a double stranded dna virus characterized by there is a high fever uh, pruritus and nervous sign mange is an skin uh, disease uh, caused by parasites uh, mites uh, characterized by there is a poor conditions of fur and skin pruritus and scab formations in uh, dog okay questions number 10 the proportion of diseased animal that died is options a mortality options b incidence option c case fatality options d morbidity the right answer is option c that is case fatality okay uh, the proportion of uh, diseased animal that died that is a case fatality while the proportion of animal at risk that died due to disease is known as mortality the proportion of animal at risk got disease that is morbidity and the number of new cases uh, of a disease that occur uh, during a specified period of time in a population at risk for developing the disease that is incident and the number of cases of a disease that occurs during a specific period of time in a population at risk for developing the disease that is known as prevalence okay questions number 11 the amount of organisms required to initiate infections indicate options a virulence options b pathogenicity option c susceptibility options d infectivity the right answer is options d that is infectivity the amount of organisms which required to initiate infections indicate its infectivity okay uh, virulence refer to the severity of that infections uh, which can be uh, discover, uh, expressed by describing the morbidity and mortality of the infections while uh, pathogenicity uh, refer to that proportion of uh, infected individuals uh, who develop clinically apparent disease okay while susceptibility measure the proportion of a chance of a population at risk of being infected by disease okay questions number uh, 12 the period between infections and maximum infectiousness is options a generation time options b pre patent period option c threshold level options d eclipse period the right answer is options a that's a generation time 
the period uh, between that the infections when that uh, infectious agents get entry into the body and the when the maximum infectious uh, take place is known as generation time generation time is actually known as doubling time it's a time required for a cells to divide uh, when the population of a, that populations become double okay population of bacteria become double that's known as a dub, doubling time okay and the time interval uh, between that infections and the first appearance of a parasites in a blood that is known as pre patent period also known as latent period if we see that's the pre patent period and uh, that eclipse periods eclipse periods refer to the time uh, when the parasites enter the body and the uh, and, and up to that the biosynthesis of mature uh, phage take place while that uh, latent period represent the time uh, when the virus enter the body and the release of the mature phage okay uh the period between the entry of the infectious agents and that appearance of the first uh, sign or symptoms of disease is known as incubation period while infectious period or period of communicability is the time during which that infected organisms can transmit the infections to other okay questions number uh, 13 dogs that are affected with rabies are example of options a convalescent carrier options b incubatory carrier option c latent carrier options d none the right answer is options b that is a incubatory carrier dog dog that are affected with rabies are example of incubatory carrier incubatory carrier are those carrier which harbor the pathogens but is not at ill okay while active carrier are uh, those carrier which harbors the uh, that uh, infectious agents and uh, and also show that overt clinical sign of disease while convalescent carrier are those uh, carrier which are recovered from disease but continue to harbor large amount of uh, pathogens okay questions number 14 transmission of an infections by doctor during surgical or medical practice is called options a vertical transmissions options b uh, iatrogenic transmissions option c transcestodial transmissions or options d aerial transmissions the right answer is options b that is a uh, iatrogenic transmissions transmissions of an infections by doctor uh, during surgical or medical practice is called iatrogenic transmissions in horizontal uh, transmission that virus are transmitted among individuals of the same generations via direct or indirect contact while in vertical uh, transmissions virus is transmitted from mother to their offspring if we see that's biological transmission is that uh, when the agents multiplied or develop in a vector uh, and we found that biological transmissions are of uh, three types that is propagative transmissions or cyclo development transmissions or cyclo propagative transmissions when the agents uh, that uh, multiplied in a vector but there is a no change in form that is known as propagative transmissions and when the when the when the no multiplication take place only a cyclic changes see that is known as cyclo development transmissions both multiplications and changes in form are seen then it's cyclo propagative transmissions while if we see that transcestodial uh, transmissions and trans ovarian transmissions okay the disease agents or infectious agents uh, which only pass from that one stage uh, to that another of that life cycle uh, that is known as a transcestodial trans transmissions while in case of trans ovarian transmissions uh, that uh, the disease uh, uh, that pass on to that next generations from egg of the insect stool okay questions number 15 study of animal and plant in relation to their habit and habitat is called options a ecology options b biomes option c epornetics option c zoonosis the right answer is option uh, a that is ecology study of animal and plant in relation to their habit and habitat is called ecology while a uh, biomes is a large naturally occurring community of a flora and fauna occupying a major habitats consist of many ecosystems that share similar uh, climatic conditions while an ecosystem is all abiotic and abiotic factors of a particular environment that interact with each others uh, consist multiple ecosystem within a particular biomes okay uh, let's see we see that biomes is are that larger as compared to the ecosystems biomes consist many ecosystems while uh, uh, ecosystems uh, uh, is a uh, is cons- ecosystems is include within a single biomes many ecosystems include within a single particular biomes okay epornetics is that uh, there's three terms epornetics epigeotics and epidemic if the outbreak of uh, disease occurs in a bird population that is known as uh, epornetics if the outbreak of disease occurs uh, within a uh, animal population it's epigeotic and if the outbreaks of a disease occurs in a human population that is epidemic 
zoonosis uh, that is a disease transmission uh, from that animal to human that is known as a zoonosis while the disease transmitted from that human to animal that is known as a reverse zoonosis okay questions number uh, 16 measures to make uh, regional extinctions of an infectious agent is a con options a control options b eradications option c tertiary preventions options d niche filling the right answer is options uh, b that is eradications uh, measures which we took to make a regional extinction if there is a word extinction of an infectious agents that is strong as eradications okay and measures uh, just to just we took to prevent disease occurrence and spread that is a that is a control of the disease uh, it, here are three types of uh, preventions related to stage of disease development that is a primary preventions secondary preventions and tertiary preventions uh, primary preventions major focus on eliminating a risk factor uh, for the disease development while secondary preventions focus on early detections and uh, treatment of a disease while tertiary preventions focus on attempts to eliminate uh, the dis disability which is associated with advanced disease okay there is a term that is known as niche filling is a niche filling is nothing it's a way of a uh, prevention in which that uh, presence of one organism uh, within a niche is inhibited by the presence of another organisms for example, sir, if in our gastric flora, in order to decrease the populations of uh, uh, pathogenic microorganisms, we need to increase the populations of useful microorganisms. Uh, that process is known as niche filling. Okay. Questions number uh, 17. Falling snail act as an intermediate host in amphistomiasis in cattle. Options A. Limnade snails. Options B. Plan orbit snails, option C, both A and B, options D, none. The right answer is options B, that is a plan orbit snails. Plan orbit snails act as intermediate host in amphistomiasis in cattle. Okay, let's see some parasites along with their intermediate host. Then in case of that anoplocephala and paranoplocephala, their intermediate host is oribatids mites, uh, devinia, uh, relitina, cotognia, this intermediate host is orthopods. Uh, Dipalidium caninum, there's intermediate host is flea or louse. Uh, Amoebotania, there's intermediate host is earthworm. Tania saginata, their intermediate host is cattle. Tania solium, their intermediate host is pig. Tania hydatigina, Tania multiceps, Tania obis, their intermediate host is sheep. Tania pisiformis, Tania cerealis, their intermediate host is rabbit. Tania teniformis, there's intermediate host is rodent. Uh, Echinococcus, intermediate host is man and ungulates mammals. Uh, Mestocystids uh, lineatums, intermediate host is orthopods and mammals. Uh, Diphylobothrium latum, which is a fish tape bomb, their intermediate host is first intermediate host is cyclops, and second intermediate host is freshwater fish. Cystosoma, intermediate host is snail of Limnia genus. Uh, Fasciola hepatica, intermediate host is snails of Limnia genus. Okay. Uh, questions number 18 Following worm of horse is responsible for colic symptoms. Option C Habronima muscae. Option C, options B, uh, trichostrongylus species. Option C, strongylus vulgaris. Options D, all. The right answer is options uh, uh, C, that is strongylus uh, vulgaris, is responsible for uh, colic symptoms in a uh, horse. Okay. Let's see some internal uh, parasites of horse. That is a strongylus. Strongylus, uh, that is a small and large strongylus, commonly uh, referred as blood uh, worm. That adult worm uh, lives in large intestine. Aggressive feeder uh, that sucks bloods and nutrients from intestines uh, lead to the severe colics. If we see that example of that uh, strong guys, that is strong guys, uh, which migrate to that anterior mesenteric artery, uh, strong guys, uh, identitis, which migrate to the liver and flank area, strong guys, uh, equinus, which migrates to livers and pancreas, and second internal parasites in a horse, we found is a round bum. Uh, round bum of horse that is parascaris equiorum mainly found in intestine uh, more dangerous when it, they migrates to that uh, lungs and livers and main cause of full pneumonia okay uh, pin bomb uh, that's oxyuris equi that's lay egg around that anal regions perianal regions this egg uh, cause irritations and horse will rub their tail against object okay uh, stomach boat that is known as gastrophilus species uh, gastrophilus nasalis gastrophilus hemorrhoidalis gastrophilus intestinalis they lay egg on that uh, hair hatch and that uh, penetrate into a uh, mouth tissue and migrate to the stomachs and cause stomach irritations and colic. Okay, tape bomb that infect a uh, horse uh, that is a uh, anoplocephala and paranoplocephala, which cause colic in horse. Okay, note that uh, Habronema muscae is an internal uh, stomach uh, parasites of horse, common cause of uh, cutaneous ulcerative granulomas in horse. Okay, questions number uh, 19. 
Tip bomb infestations can be treated with the following drugs. Options A, febendazole at the rate of 5 mg per kg body weight. Options B, albendazole at the rate of 5 mg per kg body weight. Option C, praziquantel 5 mg per kg body weight or options D, all. The right answer is option C, that is the praziquantel 5 mg per kg body weight. Let's see some uh, drug of choice. Drug of choice for uh, cestodiasis, that is cestod infestations, that is a praziquantel. Drug of choice for uh, trematodes infestation, that is a clibendazole. Okay. Since clibendazole is effective for both adult and that uh, larval form of drugs, okay. Drug of choice for uh, nematodes, that is a piperazine. Uh, note, there is a drug of choice for monoziasis infections, that is a niclosamides, okay. Drug of choice for babesiosis is berine. Drug of choice for theliriosis is bupar vacuum. Drug of choice for uh, trypanosomiasis, that is quina pyramine sulfate, okay. Questions number uh, 20. Visceral larva migraine is caused by the migration of larva of option A, toxocara canis. Options B, uh, dictylocaulus viviparis. Option C, onco sarca gibsoni. Options D, none. The right answer is options A, that is toxocara canis. Uh, visceral larva migraine is a genetic infestation uh, by nematode, that is round bum. Parasites of dog and cat, that is a toxocara canis and toxocara cati. Uh, when this round worm infest uh, this animal, they lived and they lay egg intestine. Then egg pass out uh, with feces, contaminated soils. When this contaminated soil is injected by a uh, human accidentally, this egg has into that human body, travel uh, through that intestinal wall into the blood capillary, to reach to the different part of the body, including so, liver, lungs, uh, eye, brain or heart. In this organ, larva cause varying degree of local inflammations, leading to non-specific symptoms. This condition is known as a visceral larva migraine. Okay. Uh, note that a dictylocaulus uh, viviparis, which is a lung worm of uh, ruminants, dictylocaulus uh, unfieldy, which is a lung, lung worm of uh, that horse, and dictylocaulus uh, viviparia, filaria, which is a lung worm of a uh, sheep and goat, uh, cause pneumonia and bronchitis in respective uh, uh, that's uh, animals. Okay. Oncosarciasis, that's a river blindness, uh, mainly caused by parasites Oncosarca volvulus. Uh, transmitted to human through repeated bite of infected black fly of genus uh, Simulium. Uh, characterized by there's a symptoms including fever, itching and uh, disfiguring skin uh, conditions. And also there's a vi vi visual uh, impairments including permanent blindness. Okay. Questions number uh, 21st. Toxoplasmosis is a contagious disease of option, options A. Cattle, pig, sheep, goat. Options B. Sheep and goat. Option C, only cat. Options D, all of the species including human. The right answer is options D, that is all of the species including human. Toxoplasmosis is a contagious disease of all of animal including human. Toxoplasma is actually a genetic disease. Uh, it's a genetic contagious disease of all warm-blooded animal and man caused by parasites that is Toxoplasma gondii and is transmitted through contaminated with the cat or consumption of infected meat and meat product through placental infections and other like inhalations and ingestion of infected milk characterized by there is a abortions at an early stage and there is a mild fever leading to that encephalitis. A questions number 22. Anaplasma marginal is observed in options A, erythrocytes, options B, leukocytes, option C, muscle cells, options D, none. The right answer is option A, that is a, uh, erythrocytes. Anaplasma marginal is observed in erythrocytes. Anaplasmosis, which is also known as a girl sickness, is important uh, rickettsial infectious disease of ruminants uh, characterized by this a varying degree of a pyrexia, that is a fever, progressive anemia and emaciation, mainly caused by anaplasma marginal, which is an intra-erythrocytic parasites, uh, which is spread through tick uh, of this genus uh, Tabanus stomoxis and also from uh, mosquito. Okay. Questions number 23. Pimply gut is caused by options A, oesophagostoma, options B, bunostomum, option C, hamuncus, options D, none. The right answer is option A, that's oesophagostoma. Pimply gut is caused by oesophagostoma. Okay, oesophagostomiasis, which is also known as nodular or worm disease, is an important parasitic disease of all farm animal except host uh, caused by nematode, that is oesophagostoma, oesophagostoma columbianum in sheep and uh, goat. Osophagostomum radiatum in cattle, Osophagostomum dentatum in pig, uh, characterized by persistent diarrhea, that is a mucosy, dark green colored feces, chronic emaciations, and there's a presence of a nodules in large intestine in rectums. And we can uh, found that nodules on palpation too, okay. 
Bunostomum uh, flebotomum, this is a hookworm of uh, cattle, is a large, robust, and white uh, worm capable of causing anemia and black terifices in calves infected uh, via injections and skin penetrations. Okay. Hamuncus contotus, which is known as barber pole worm or large stomach worm or wire worm. It's a blood sucking uh, parasites of abomasum of ruminants, primarily sheep and goats characterized by this anemia and hypoproteinemia. That's a bottle jaw conditions. Okay. Questions number uh, 24. The cystic intermediate stage of Echinococcus granulosus is found in options A, sheep, options B, goat, options C, cattle, options D, all. The right answer is uh, options uh, uh, D, that is all, okay. The cystic intermediate stage of Echinococcus granulosus is found in all, that is sheep, goat, cattle, ruminants plus uh, human, okay. Different tape worm along with their intermediate stage, definitive and intermediate host, okay. The intermediate stage of Tania saginata is Cysticercus bobis and its definitive host is man while its intermediate host is cattle. The intermediate stage of uh, Tania solium that is Cysticercus cellulosi is a uh, definitive host is uh, man and intermediate host is pig. Uh, similarly, intermediate stage of Tania multiceps is Coenura cerebralis. Definitive host is dog and intermediate host is sheep. Uh, for that uh, Tania hydatidiza that is Cysticercus uh, Tania coolis. Definitive host uh, dog and intermediate host sheep. Tenia ovis, that is Cysticercus ovis, dog and sheep. Tenia pisiformis, that is Cysticercus pisiformis, uh, in definitive host dog and intermediate host rabbit. Tenia cerealis, uh, that is intermediate stages that uh, Coenura uh, cerealis, definitive host dog and that intermediate host uh, rabbit. Okay, Tenia tenia formis, definitive intermediate state that is uh, Cysticercus uh, uh, fasciolaris and its definitive host cat and intermediate host uh, rodent. Okay. Echinococcus granulosus uh, intermediate stage that is hydratus cyst is definitive host dog and intermediate host mammals. Echinococcus multicularis is the intermediate stage that is hydratus cyst, definitive host dog and fox and intermediate host that is a rodent and man. Okay. Questions number 25. The egg of Demodex canix are options A round, options B spindle in shape, option C oval in shape, options D variable in shape. The right answer is options B, that is a spindle in shape. Egg of Demodex can is a spindle in shapes. A demodectic, that is a means in a dog, most common in young pup, found in that uh, ear follicle and sebaceous uh, gland of the skin of a dog, uh, primarily uh, transmitted from that mother uh, to their uh, young suckling pig pups, caused by that Demodex can is, uh, which, is, uh, which is, if we see that's on a microscope, then it is a cigar shaped with a four pair of stumpy leg arises from the thorax. Characterized by hair loss, uh, pruritus, and erythema. Okay. Uh, questions number 26. Etiology of verminous bronchitis is option C, dictylocaulus. Options B, bunostomum. Option C, uh, trichuris. Options uh, D, stephanurus. The right answer is options A, that's a dictylocaulus. Dictylocaulus species, lung worm, cause verminous bronchitis. Uh, okay. Bunostomum is a hookworm of cattle. Trichuris is a whipworm. Okay, Stephanorus uh, is that Stephanorus dentatus, uh, which is a kidney worm. Okay, questions number uh, 27. Clay pipe stem fibrosis of liver is a pathognomic lesion seen in option A, amphistomiasis, options B, fasciolysis, option C, ascariasis, options D, cystosomiasis. The right answer is options B, that is fasciolysis. Clay pipe stem fibrosis of liver is seen, uh, pathognomic lesion seen in fasciolysis. Milk sport uh, liver is seen in case of ascariasis. Uh, Morocco leather appearance of gastric mucosa is observed in osteotasia, osteotagy infections, and various size of nodules are seen in a rectum in case of osophagostoma infections. Okay. Questions number uh, 28. Prenatal infection is common in options A, encyclostomiasis, options B, strong gylosis, option C, ascariasis, option C, both A and C. The right answer is options D, that is both A and C. Prenatal infection is common in both encyclostomiasis and ascariasis. Okay. Questions number 29. The vaccine inoculated in a poultry bird on the day of hatching is options A. Avian leukosis complex. Options B. Ranikhet disease. Option C. That is a Marix disease. Options D. IBD. The right answer is option C. Uh, that is a Marix disease. Okay. Let's see the vaccination schedules for poultry for that layers. On a day first, uh, Marek's uh, vaccine is given against uh, Marek's disease, uh, which is a subcut, uh, which is administered subcutaneously. On a fifth and uh, fifth to seventh day, that uh, vaccines against Raniket is given uh, intranasally or intraocularly. On a 14 to 15 days, that Gambaro uh, against vaccine is given, uh, which is given in drinking water. Fifth to sixth week uh, uh, of old uh, of a chick, 
uh, we given that uh, vaccines against rani khed and which is given in drinking water and 9 to 10 week old uh, chick we give that vaccine against rani khed and which is given subcutaneously or i am 13 to 14 week old uh, chick we gives that uh, vaccines against uh, iv and it which is given in drinking water and 15 to 16 weeks old uh, chick we give that vaccines against uh, fallpox which is given intramuscularly okay for boiler that uh, at a uh, zero days we gives uh, vaccines against marek which is subcutaneously 57 5 to 7 days we gives uh, a uh, vaccines again uh, that uh, ranike disease which is f1 strains which is we given so intraocularly uh, on 10 days uh, we give that lasota life freeze dried vaccines uh, which is again that uh, ranike and drinking water 14 to 15 days we give gambaro intermediate strains in drinking water on 21 days we also again repeat that gambaro in drinking water and fifth weeks then repeats lasota in a drinking water okay questions number uh, 30 gastric granuloma in horse is caused due to options a abronema majus options b drachea megastoma option c abronema muscae options d all the right answer is options b that is a drachea megastoma gastric granuloma in horse is caused due to uh, drachea megastoma uh, drachea megastoma is found in that uh, brood uh, uh, pouches in a glandular uh, mucosa which is adjacent to that marcoplicatus marcoplicatus is a uh, as a landmark which is different uh, which is uh, distinguish between that uh, glandular and non glandular part of stomachs of that equine egg produced in a cyst are extru- extruded through a pore in that uh, this brood pouch to that uh, gastric lumens and this egg pass out with the feces uh, are consumed by that fly larva which is the intermediate host okay that's much for today thank you